Can adrenaline make you survive a jump off the rail on surface zone? Let's test it out. And oh, wow, misconfirmed. Just one adrenaline will keep you alive in a pinch. Write that down, D-Boys. SCPSL is a game that isn't all that complicated, is it? Well, it turns out it is. So we got the greatest minds in the SL community together to test out 20 of the biggest myths in Secret Lab. Can you upgrade a janitor card to micro? I'm sorry to say, but this myth is busted. I've tried every way I can, including being able to successfully get a flashlight to become a micro. More on that in just a second. But key cards can only upgrade to other key cards. But like I said, you can use flashlights to get micros. All you have to do is upgrade a flashlight to SCP-2176 by getting lucky on very fine, 2176 to E11 on very fine, and then E11 to micro on very fine. That's about a 0.001% chance of it happening, but I believe in you, my gamer. Guns like the revolver, the full attachments normally remove the player's head from existence when used. But can you survive a one-shot with enough AHP from things like adrenaline? Yes, amazingly, as long as you've got max adrenaline in your inventory and your enemy only has one bullet left in the chamber, which happens all the time. Time, am I right? You could survive. Neat. The next three myths we tested together. Being dead for longer increases your chance of spawning. The first person to die in the game gets captain. And SCPs can't respawn as NTF after they've died. But this is going to take some time for us all to respawn, so let's jump on to some other myths for now. By the way, does the AK, shotgun, E11, and Logister all have a small chance to become a micro in 914? Yes, it's about a 5% chance, but you could get a micro in 914 if you got a bunch of these guns laying about. Bonus myth time. The micro does recharge on one-to-one -one fine and very fine. So make sure you fill that baby up if you've got the chance. There's also a 40% chance the micro will turn into the railgun if you put it on rock. That percentage is way bigger than I expected, and a lot of people think the railgun is only something admins of a server could spawn in, but nope. You could get one legitimately all on your own, and even more than one if you get lucky upgrading all of your other items to micros. And damn, this gun is fun to use. We learned that AHP can make you survive a headshot from the revolver, but what about the railgun? Well, we threw on the heavy ammo, maxed out our adrenaline, and used every damage reduction candy in the game. Not even Hulk could split these cheeks at this point. Let's see how much the railgun does to- oh, and we're dead. Wow, that was fast. So it's still one shots no matter what. Mmm, <clears throat> that's cool. Great to hear. This next one here was quite the quest. We wanted to see if you could escape as a D-boy, venturing forth from the spawn to the exit in a single bar of health with a cola, which gives you the speed of a rocket-propelled racing cheetah, but at the cost of losing health the farther you travel. We also ran this with an O5 card, since that's what the myth deemed necessary. And look that, we made it with less health remaining than there is hair on my ass. Good job, team. Myth confirmed. Does very fine guarantee an upgrade? Well, yes and no. Very fine will always upgrade your equipment so long as it doesn't outright destroy it. If you've got a few extra items that you don't mind getting Thanos snapped, then go for it. But if not, then I just stick with fine. Oh boy, bonus smith time. This is something we found out while testing the game. Apparently, no matter how close or far away you are when you shoot, the railgun always ignores the first piece of glass it shoots through. But it will break any glass behind it. Nobody in the world was actually curious about this, but sometimes the call of science surpasses all social conventions of knowledge. Plus, it's a pretty neat party trick, I guess. Impress your friends if you want, or just instantly forget about it when you stop watching this video. See what I care. If you say SCP Wyatt three times in front of the bathroom mirrors and like containment, a dreamy eyed Twitch streamer will show up and shoutcast the rest of your run. Boy, I wish, but this myth is actually busted because I bet you didn't know this. There are no mirrors in the bathrooms in like containment. Facility staff, who've just finished creating some anomalies of their own, are forced to stare at a blank concrete wall while they wash their hands because I guess the funding really is that bad. Gee, no wonder there was a containment breach. If you're flashed, you can't trigger 096, and no myth busted. If you get flashed and look up while blinded, you can still trigger 096's and rage ability. It counts as looking at him. You can still technically look at him, even while getting your eyes washed out in God's magnificent bleach. Anyway, moving on. Two adrenaline can make you survive the fall in 106's room. I'm pretty sure this one won't work because- Oh, never mind. He survived. Myth confirmed. Great. Now everyone with a few spare goofy needles can hide where they're not supposed to and hold up the round. What have I done? Remember those myths from earlier? SCPs can't spawn in as NTF if they die. The longer you've been waiting, the higher likelihood you'll spawn in on the next wave. And the first person that dies will respawn as an NTF commander. Yet, they're all busted. The guy that was an SCP respawned as an NTF. The first guy that died didn't even spawn in, and thus, he didn't become a commander. Boom. Busted, busted, busted. I hope you all enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making it. Please consider breaking the YouTube algorithm with me and dropping a fat sub. And tell me what other myths to solve.